Okay, so today we're focusing on parallel lines, and we're going to write the different equations of parallel lines. We have three forms of lines, yes? There is standard form, there is po uh, point slope, and then there's slope y-intercept, right? So bless you, they're not going away, they are staying to play. Now we're going to do it with parallel lines. What do we know about parallel lines now? What makes them parallel? Same slope, different y-intercept. There we go. So remember, so we're putting two things that you already know, we're putting them together. All right? So here we go. We have a graph. It is showing y minus 11 equals negative 3 fourths x plus 8. This is shown. What form is that? It is point slope. What point did they give me? Remember, x, y, right? This is going to be, pull it out and change its sign. That's negative 8. That is positive 11. 6, 7, 8, 11. It's like not even shown. It's all the way up here. So they've given me the point of negative 8, 11, and then what is the slope? negative 3 over 4. So that's the line that they're showing us. So, and then from there, they went down 3 and over 4. We good? All right, that's how the line was drawn. Now, it wants me to plot the point negative 1, 3. All right, let's just, I'm going to stop reading and do that. Plot the point negative 1, 3. Is negative 1 my x or is it my y? It is my x. 3 is my y. So negative 1, one, two, three, they meet up right here. There it is. Then draw the line that passes through the point that is parallel to what's already there. So how am I going to make it parallel? What did you tell me makes things parallel? Same slope. Same slope. So what slope am I going to give it? Go down three and over I'm going to go down three and over four. One, two, three. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Could I go backwards? Up and backwards. One, two, three, back. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Like that. Oops. There we go. Okay, so. What's the slope of the line that we just drew? Three. Negative 3 over 4. Good. Now let's try to write the equation. I think some of you are still graphing your line, so I'll give you a second. If you're done graphing your line, we're going to write the equation that goes through the new point, negative 1, 3, but has the same slope of negative 3 over 4, right? And we're going to do it in the same form. So we need y minus y, right, equals slope times x minus x. That's what it wants me to fill in. Oh, George. <clears throat> okay. So my equation needs to be y minus y. What's the new y value? Three, right? So y minus three equals what is my slope still? Negative three over four. It's still there. And then x minus what's my new x value? Bless you. It's going to be positive one because it's going to be minus negative, right? So it becomes positive one. Well, not too bad, right? It's okay. <sighs> okay. Give me time. I'm just kidding. Number two. A relationship is shown on the grid. A linear relationship. Just telling you it's a line. Uh, complete the equation of the line that is parallel to the line and passes through the point four comma negative six. So what is missing in the equation? The slope. So go ahead and figure out slope. You do it. 
Do it and talk to your partner. See if y'all met. Okay, boys and girls. You ready? What did you say the slope was? Three over one? Yes. A three over one? Yeah. Yeah, just three. Yeah, you could just say three. You could also say three over one. Good. Oh. Well, that didn't work out very well. Good. You could start here. Look. One, two, three. I will do it a couple of times just to make sure it does work all the way through, and it does. All right. Discuss with me why do you think point-slope form of a line is the easiest way to use when writing the equation of a parallel line? Because you only need, you, you could use any point. Right? Yeah. So, what the line you said has to be, has to be different. Um, but we know that the slope has to match. There's an easy place to show that the slope is the same. Oh, this is and we can use any point um, on the parallel line. That's the symbol for parallel lines, by the way, two, two lines next to each other. Okay. So we do like that one, but we already talked about we do have our other two forms still there. If it wants me to write the equation in slope-intercept form, I could modify from the point-slope form. The goal is to get y by itself, right? y equals mx plus b. This is old news. We know how to do this, so don't freak out on me. If I ever go from point slope to anything else, we talked about what always had to be done first. Distribute my slope. Distribute the slope. We have to distribute that three first. Okay? So it's essentially a two-step equation still. Distribute your slope and then move that loose number away from your y, okay? So it's still a two-step equation. If I distribute this three, we're gonna get y plus six equals what? What's three times x? And what's three times negative four? There you go. And then we just have one more thing to do. And how am I gonna move the six across the equal sign? Subtract it. So if I subtract six, Minus 18. Good. I know the space is not very big. Boop. There you go. Can you all see that? Okay. Is that better? There you go. All right. So it's really so to go from point slope to slope intercept, it's a two step. Okay. Distribute slope, move your loose number. Now from here to standard form, it's only one step. Standard form is when X and Y are on the same side. X and Y are on the same side. So which one am I going to move? Move the 3X onto the other side. And how are we going to do it? Subtract it. So it becomes negative 3X and my positive Y now equals negative 18. Okay. So we're using all three forms, but since we're coming from point slope, Okay, don't freak out. Point slope to slope intercept, two steps. Slope intercept to standard, one step. Okay, keep it simple in your mind so you don't overload. Questions? We're going to level up. Oh, well, don't do that. Okay, that's why I say like to do it a couple of times. Like I did, I did three over one a couple of times to make sure it was consistent. Here we go. Plot the two points, negative two, seven, and one, four. Okay. So is negative two, is it going to be an X or is it going to be a Y? Negative two is X and seven is Y. So there's that point. And then the point one, four, which one's my X? There you go. And what's my y? Four. So they meet right here. 
All right, plot the two points. I did that. Get rid of my extra markings. Okay, write the equation of the line that is parallel to the line that passes through those points that we just drew. All right, so if this is a line, I'm going to go ahead and connect them. Okay. And goes through the point 0, negative 3. Okay, so if we're writing the equation, I know what point it already goes through. We're going to do the point slope, right? We just got to figure out what is my slope. There we go. So what is the slope of the line that we just drew? Three over... Down three over three. Down three over three? Yeah? Does that make sense mathematically? Remember we did this yesterday also. How did seven turn into four? It went, we subtracted three, right? And then how did negative two turn into one? We added three. Negative to positive, we get bigger, okay? So what is my slope? It simplifies to be negative one. So we're gonna have y minus y equals my slope times x minus x. All right, what's the new y value? So yeah, minus negative three turns into plus three. There we go. What part comes next? Our slope. Negative three over three, you can simplify that to be negative one, both would be fine. And then end it with x minus x. What's my x value? Negative two. Oh, nope, in the new point they gave me. Zero. Zero. This one right here. So zero and negative three, one, two, three is right here. They didn't ask me to do this, but I'm a very visual person and I would like to see it. There we go. So that's the equation of the new line. Um, what method did you use? So check off which one you used. It, you're, there's no right answer here. Okay? Just you personally read what you did. Did you use the two points and do subtraction to calculate? Or did you use the graph? And you counted to do the change in Y and change in X. Okay? Bless you. It is your personal answer. Nothing. The only way you, you get it wrong is if you what? Is if you don't answer. Okay? So just check one of the boxes. It is for you. Okay? Okay. I, Ms. Dag listed that one. What's up? Oh! <gasps> I should do that. That's why everybody. That's why I was, I was like, is it the seventh or the eighth? Oh, that's what's been distracting you this whole time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Look at today. Today's Tuesday. I'm so sorry. I thought today was Thursday. I'm sorry. I will fix it. I love these on the page, too. All right. Write the equation of a line in all three forms that is parallel to the line that passes through the points, negative five, negative two, and negative three, two, mm -hmm. and goes through the point seven, negative one. Okay, so we know what point I have to use. They did not give me my slope, but they gave me two points and I can find slope. Yeah, okay. So how did negative two, because we have to do y over y first, right? How did negative two become positive two? Yeah, we went up four, good. So I'm gonna do slope over here, maybe. There we go. So we went up four for my y's, because remember slope is y over x. And my x's went from negative five to negative three. They went plus two, good, positive two. So what is our slope? Two. Our slope is two. Mm -hmm. Good. So now we have all the pieces. We have my M, we have our new X, and we have our new Y for our parallel line. 
Now we're going to put it in all the different forms. Which form do you want to put it in first? Um, point slope. Point slope. Always start with point slope. You have a point, you have a slope, put it in point slope. Y minus Y equals slope times X minus X. All right, so Y minus something equals slope times X minus something else. All right, what's my Y value? It is negative 1. So what's Y minus negative 1? Y plus 1. Good. Equals 2. And then X minus X, so it's X minus 7. Seven. This guy right here. We're using this new point and we're using this slope. Yep. Those other points we only use to find the slope. Once we use them to find slope, we don't need them anymore because they're from the other line. We're writing the equation of our new line that goes through our new point of seven negative one. All right. Slope intercept form. We said this is a this is a two step equation, right? We can do this. What is step one? Distribute my slope. So when I distribute my two, it becomes y plus one equals what? 2x minus 14. Good. That was step one. What is step two? Subtract the one. So good negative 14 and then one more lower gives me brings me down to negative 15 good and then from here to standard form it's only one step what do I have to move two. the 2x two good whatever what's with the x has to get moved we're going to subtract it so subtract it over we have a positive y still over there, and now we're equal to what? Negative 15. There you go. Good. Uh, number two is a little tricky. A little tricky, but we're going we're, we're gonna to be okay. Write the equation of the line that passes through a point for negative 7 and is parallel to y equals negative 1. Okay, so let's start with what we know. I know it goes through the point for negative 7, right? So y minus y equals slope times x minus x. Let's plug in the point. So is it going to be y minus 4 or y plus 7? Y plus 7. There you go, because we have y with my y stay together. And in my parentheses, is it going to be x minus 4 or x plus 7? x minus 4. Good. Now, they did not give me the slope. They didn't, like, straight out give me the slope. It's parallel to y equals negative 1. Hmm. y equals negative 1 is down here, right? What kind of line is that? Horizontal. What slopes do horizontal lines have? There you go. Remember Hoivax? Horizontal has a slope of zero and it's a y intercept, right? So my slope has to be zero. Well, that's weird. What does this whole thing just simplify to? y plus 7 equals 0, so y equals, nope, negative 7. Think about it, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wouldn't it make sense that it's another horizontal line? Yeah. So if we're parallel to a horizontal line, it's just the y value. Is what that one wanted you to notice. If we are parallel to a horizontal line, it'll stay y equals a value. Same thing if I was parallel to an x line, right, a vertical one. If I was parallel to an x equals something, it would just be x equals the new x value. It has to just be the x. All right, complete the table. Oh, here we go. It's going to help us. <clears throat> 
Let's see if you were paying attention. All right, horizontal lines. We kind of just did a sketch on the side. We're going to do a new one over here. So horizontal lines look like the guy that we just did on the side. So they go straight across the Y somewhere. We just said my slope was zero. zero. And the equation of parallel lines is going to be Y equals something. Come on, pen. Hold on, it's thinking. There we go. Y equals Y equals. So for this one, let's just pretend this is like 2 and negative 4. So Y equals 2, Y equals negative 4. It's all we care about is the Y. Okay, so now let's see if we can apply that and kind of almost do opposites for our vertical lines. Vertical lines go up and down. Yep. Let's call this guy negative 5. Let's call this guy 1. Why not? Who's making stuff up here? Okay. What is the slope of vertical lines? Undefined. Good. That's the vux, right? So here my slope is undefined. I know. I have to do it diagonal. <laughs> U and D works, works as well. Yep. And what's the equation of pair of um, vertical lines? X. X equals. Negative five. Yeah, so for the ones we just made up right here, we would do X equals negative five and X equals one. one. Good. So it's only the X value. You don't care about anything else. Mm -hmm. All right, write the equation of a line that passes through negative 3, 8 and is parallel to x minus 4 equals 0. Hmm, fancy. What line is this really? This is really just x equals positive 4. So it must be vertical. So it must be vertical. So I don't have to do a whole lot of math because it has to only apply to the other, uh huh, which is the other x value. So if it's parallel to x equals 4, it has to be. Do I care about the negative 3 or the 8? It's the x, right? I only have an x, I only care about the x. So it'll be x equals negative 3. That's the only equation you can write of a vertical line. There is no point slope. There is no slope intercept. It is just x equals negative 3 the end. So don't overthink those, okay? Uh, write the equation of the line in slope intercept form. Oh, okay. So now it wants it to be y equals mx plus b, right? It has specified. So I'm going to write that down. Um, that is parallel to the line. 14x minus 2y equals 51 and goes through the point 3, negative 11. All right, they're making us do some work on this one, but that's okay. We can handle it. So we can't jump straight to slope intercept. We're going to have to start off with point slope, and then we're going to have to rearrange it. Okay? They gave me standard form over here. I'm going to have to use that to find my slope. So let's rearrange this guy. Minus 14, so negative 2y equals negative 14x plus 51 and divide by negative 2. Divide by negative 2. And this equals 5, 7, 8. doesn't matter, right? Because all we want is the slope, right? So my main goal here is to figure out that this right here, we're going to get a slope of 7. Okay, that's what we need from that. So if we use our original line. All we care about is what's the slope. Okay, so we get a slope of 7. We have a new point. So we're going to put it in point slope form first and then do our two-step equation to make it um, the intercept form. So point slope first, y minus something equals something times x minus something. All right, is it going to be y minus 3 or y plus 11? 
There you go, good. What's gonna go next? That's your seven. And then in your parentheses, it's gonna be, there's your three, good. <clears throat> All right, two steps. What is step one? Not divide, the other D. Distribute, distribute your seven. So we get y plus 11 equals what? 7x minus 21, good. And then step two, subtract your 11. Y equals 7x minus 32. Bless you. There it is. Okay, so they gave me a little work on this one. The first thing we had to do was find my slope from the standard form equation. Then I had to apply that in my new point into point slope form and then rewrite it into slope intercept form. So this, this was step one, this was step two, and then this was step three. That's kind of how we did that one. Yes, ma'am. Uh, negative 21 minus 11. Yep. Negative 21 came from seven times negative three. All right, to write the equation of a line that passes through 4, 2 and is parallel to y equals 3x plus 1 in point slope form. Okay, we like this one. Why do I like this one so much? Yeah, it, it gives you everything I need. I have a point for my point slope form. Do I have a slope for my point slope form? Yeah, what is it? It's three, how nice of them. They gave me in slope intercept form. So we have my slope, we have my point. There we go, we can do this. So you try, I'm gonna pause, you try. Yes, you try it. It's all there for you, you do it. All right, check your answer with Emma's. Oh, yeah. I only got the first part. Right? Yeah? Y minus Y, which was 2, equals my slope of 3. X minus X, my X was 4. We good? I know, I'm tired too. All right, write the equation of the line that passes through the origin. Ooh. And is parallel to Y plus 9 equals negative X minus 2 in standard form, okay? So it wants me to end up with the X and the Y on the same side, right? That's our end goal. <clears throat> okay, I have a slope, right? My slope is negative one, good. But what point did they give me? No, that, that's from the original line. What's my new one, Xavier? Zero, zero, right? My new line passes through the origin. So I have my slope. I have my x, y. Bless you. It wants me to write it in standard form. But we always start with point slope. Okay, let's start there. So we have y minus zero equals slope times x minus zero. Okay. So if I distribute my negative one, we're gonna have y minus zero equals negative one x, and then what, zero? Do the zeros really do anything? No, so this is y equals what, negative one x? Right, but is that standard form? No, my x and y have to be on the same side. So how am I gonna move my x over? We're gonna add it, good. So now it becomes a positive x. We have a positive y, but what are we equal to now? We have to be equal to something. Good, Mayana, it is zero. 
Good. So that is the standard form of that um, parallel line. Good. <clears throat> Number eight, write, this is the last one. Write the equation of the line in all three forms that passes through the point 10, negative 3, and is parallel to that lovely guy. Okay? Don't be scared. What's the only thing I care about out of this equation? The slope. No. All I care about is slope. My slope is going to be negative one fourth. Okay? That's what you need to pull from. I'm sorry, positive one fourth. Okay? So we have a slope of one fourth. We have an x of negative 10 and a y of negative 3. Okay? You put you put it in point slope form, and then we'll check, and then we'll move on together. But you put it in point slope form first. <clears throat> you put it in point slope first. All right, start with me real fast. Last, last little minute here. Okay, when I had to distribute my slope, one-fourth times x, that's fine. One-fourth times 10 is 10 over 4, okay? Leave it like that. When you go and subtract your 3, Make it 12 over 4. That's the same thing as 3, right? So then you just do the 10 minus 12 to get the negative 2, and simplify, and then move your x over.